Hey Bashir, sorry I didn't do this video last night, it all got a bit hectic once the kids got home. So just uh, showing you today just briefly the difference between uh, doing the designing in the Trio software and doing the designing in the lab software and the differences. So obviously on this one I've got a, just a model that we're going to scan, so we're going to do two, three, and on this we are going to do a inlay as well. So inlay and press a three in-house and we'll choose the mill so from here obviously as per usual we'll start scanning so just going to pause the video while I'm scanning because there's no point of recording this you know how it scans so okay so the next step after you've done your scan I've already sent me design these here but if we go into the margin tab obviously you're going to start drawing your margin here um, you can adjust it depending on what tooth you've got highlighted Depends on what tooth you're going to be adjusting um, to, to make sure your margin's correct. Once again, it will try and do the auto auto detect to the margin. Uh, if it if it doesn't have any luck, then you can manually go around and fix little bits and pieces of the margin. Um, so from there, we can go after you've drawn the margin. It's going to set the path of insertion on both teeth. So you set the path of insertion on. Uh, oh, sorry, that's correcting the margin line. Then the next step, once again, uh, correcting the margin line. So the next step is path insertion, which it should figure out itself. And then you've got the occlusal plane, which you set up. So next. So it's going to auto generate uh, teeth. It's going to try and produce as close as it possibly can to, I guess, uh, what you've got there. So once you've once it's finished doing its calculating, you can make any adjustments that you wanted to to this as well. So I have semi-designed this one already. So this is uh, basically it's reproducing what I've already created. So it's just doing the calculation. Same with this one as well. So it's going to get it into position, I would say, within, you know, 70 to 80 percent, and then you might need to draw. Like you can see where I just drew some of these things, and I thinned it out and created a little bit of anatomy in there. So you can do that quite easily yourself. Okay, design accepts. So cool. So from here, then we're going into uh, the designing, well, sorry, they're both now designed. So we can hit next. Now, as I said, in reality, when you are doing the design on that one, you'll be spending a little bit more time moving it around, checking contacts and whatnot. But then what happens is the software then comes in here, and then you put the block into the, your position and then hit produce. So once uh, you've I've obviously chosen two of these, and then once you hit produce, it will then go into your CNC software here. So you can see these are the two here that I've uh, put in. So there's the inlay, there's the crown. So if you're to highlight one and hit play, not connected with the machine, that's no surprise. But then you hit play and then it starts milling. So you can see that when you do your design in here, it's automatically going to go into the, the VHF mill software and then you just hit play. So by, by moving this around in here and adjusting the tooth into this one, it's obvious, obviously uh, putting it straight you know, into the machine over here. Um, so that's a good thing about that. And then I just wanted to, just in this design phase, I just wanted to quickly show you, because this is what I was speaking to you about, the margins. Uh, where am I? Slice tool. So that one's not so bad. You can see the, the margin, they've just got a little bit of a buffer on the margin area. And that is literally just for, you know, uh, as I was mentioning, um, uh, milling protection. So that it kind of protects, I guess, the, uh, the crown from getting milled out too thin. So you can see there's your margin contact. So it's just got a little bit of a buffer on the outside. Which is, to tell you the truth, it's not the end of the world. If you did want to polish it a little bit, it's going to disappear. 
but everyone that's using it is pretty much all just cementing the crowns how they are. But I just wanted to show you that's that that's our particular workflow within Design Studio. So uh, I'll stop it and I'll show you the dental system uh, platform and how that works.